So College Lake Dam was built in 1934 as a partnership between the Lynchburg College, now University of Lynchburg, and the Virginia Department of Highways. So in 1934, the college gained a, a gorgeous lake on the campus, um, primarily for recreational and aesthetic purposes. Again, the main purpose of the dam was to provide a, a transportation route for Lakeside Drive. In 1934, the lake was big and, and beautiful, uh, and it really became a, a recreational heart of the campus in a lot of ways. When the dam was originally constructed, we knew very, very little about streams, the way they transport sediment, and by putting a dam in a, in a watershed that's dominated by sandy sediment, we quickly realized that the, the actual volume of the lake would be taken over by sediment very, very quickly. And you can see that in aerial imagery um, where the lake used to be at, in the 1930s, about 45 acres in size. And just today, it's only about 14 acres in size due to the amount of accumulated sediment that's occurred over time. Where we're standing at right now is actually College Lake Dam. So the old portion of Lakeside Drive that's now been abandoned is actually sitting right on top of the dam. And not many people have realized that over the years that as you drove by and looked over College Lake, you were actually driving on top of College Lake Dam. Given that College Lake Dam is 90 years old, given that it is an earthen embankment that is subject to overtopping. We have been working for a number of years to determine the best course of action moving forward. And all of that really culminated into a decision that was made after 2018. We begin with team coverage in Lynchburg. George, we're out here on Lakeside Drive, pretty much right across from the University of Lynchburg right now. I'm gonna step out of the way, Jamon's gonna pan down there and we'll show you exactly what we're looking at right now. Again, as George mentioned, if you're driving on Lakeside Drive, you're pretty much driving on top of college. Dam. Right now there's about 12 to 18 inches of water on top of the dam. The dam. Uh, we had a significant amount of rain, six inches and more in different areas of the city and through this swath of the College Lake watershed we saw over six inches of rain in about two hours. That caused this dam to overtop. Actually where I'm standing at here is the location of where it did overtop. Which was you know pretty concerning because we were uh, you know, not sure that the dam was going to hold with a foot of water going over the top of it. I and mean, the dam is basically a, a pile of rocks <laughs> and dirt. This incident really triggered action from the city who owns the dam and the University of Lynchburg to partner in figuring out a solution to this high hazard dam. And again, we already knew that there were really only two options, removing the dam or um, uh, reinforcing it, right, to, to bring it up to code. And reinforcing it would have taken a large amount of concrete <laughs> and would not have fixed the problem of all the sediment in the lake. Um, and so in order to keep the lake to a safe working condition, it would have to be dredged of that sediment. And so we would be talking about hundreds of dump truck loads every year that would have to be hauled away from this site in order to just maintain the current capacity of the lake. And it didn't fix the issue that um, the spillway is undersized by about 12 times the size that it needs to be to meet safety regulations. So even if the lake remained in place, the dam would still be a, a hazard risk to public safety and public health and in our infrastructure downstream. So it benefited the city in a lot of ways in the sense that uh, they, could, they could move forward with some plans to build the bridge, connect it with this new traffic circle that they had been um, designing anyway. And the university was eager to partner with the city on, on this project. It has real um, advantages for the university. So to move this project forward, we really needed to get a lot of people together. There were a lot of different players involved um, in getting this project started, including the university, our city leadership. As you well know, we had quite an event on the evening of August 2nd, significant flooding at College Lake and the potential. Obviously uh, with Lakeside Drive riding over top of the dam, it needed to be replaced before we could actually remove the dam. So we had to build a bridge first so that we could relocate traffic off of the existing dam. That was a significant project that had to move quickly in order for us to address the safety requirements of the dam and to get this removed. So in the early phases of this project, We'll have a lot of uh, site preparation, which includes construction access roads, stockpile and staging areas, and just really m material delivery on site. There's a number of materials that we're gonna look to reuse, any trees that we have to 
um, remove as a result of the grading of the earthwork we're looking to reuse within the project so we have no waste and that also cuts down on the cost for the city so the next phase of the project after we set up the construction site is really to start the dewatering process before we can safely remove the dam we have to drain the lake and so one of the ways that we're looking to do this in a very unique and environmentally sensitive way is the use of large siphons system um, and that siphon dewatering system will allow us to safely and slowly control the lake so this process will likely take a month or longer for the lake to be dewatered and it will probably go at a rate of about a half a foot to one foot per day and so once the lake bed begins to expose itself from the upstream end we'll have specialized equipment likely on floating pontoons or long arm excavators that'll be able to reach the accumulated sediment as the river starts to cut through the sediment and pull that aside so we're not transporting that to the siphons so once the sediment management is done and the lake is drained we'll be ready to start the dam breaching process that's done in, in very very quick amount of time it's about three to five days it'll be a 24-hour operation that'll allow us to target a dry time because the last thing we obviously want is a large storm event to come while we're decommissioning the dam and so we'll quickly look to notch and remove the dam in just those three to five days and at that point we'll be within the open flow of the river As we lose this kind of lake ecosystem and it transfers back to a riverine ecosystem, um, it's gonna change the look, but it just has a different type of beauty. Um, and that beauty can still be something that ends up being a high community value site, which helps the aesthetics, helps with potentially bringing people on the site. Uh, and what's also most exciting about this dam removal process is, is that we are um, engaging in this a giant sort of ecological restoration experiment. Here in central Virginia, wetlands are always more forested. And wetland doesn't necessarily mean that there's water on the ground all year round. Wetlands provide amazing water quality benefits because they act as like a, a sponge and a, and a filter for water moving through the system. Um, it can actually improve water quality. They provide habitat for a diversity of amphibians and birds and insects that don't exist in other kinds of ecosystems in this area. And one of the things we've done with this project that I think is really, really cool is the fact we put together a master plan of what even could potentially be possible in the future. This site could be um, expanded with boardwalks, with bird watching areas, with trails, picnic areas, um, outdoor classrooms, and, and really be something that is a, a focal point of the city of Lynchburg. We're actually gonna save the Lakeside Drive bridge that has been the spillway for College Lake since it was created. What we have a vision for this location is for it to turn into an overlook. Imagine being able to stand out here and reminisce about the past and the good memories that we have of College Lake. I love daydreaming about what the future of this site holds for the community of Lynchburg and, and for especially for, for the youth of Lynchburg as they learn about how to be better environmental stewards of a place like the Blackwater Creek Watershed. Our website for the project, collegelakedamremoval.org, will be updated throughout the construction process and we'll be sharing with you some of those exciting moments that we'll have during the dam removal, um, the draining of the lake, and the re-emergence of Blackwater Creek. It has been buried in this lake for 90 years. We are excited to see Blackwater Creek come back to life.